Hi y'all, welcome back to Amber's Diamond Painting. This is Amber, this is me, and I thought I'm going to give you guys another upload today, and not the same one either. This is take two, so sorry guys. This is just some extra tissue. This is, um, these are diamond paintings from Etsy, y'all, and, um, she has licensed images, and that's just amazing to me. So we got some Swishers, um, not Swishers, Swedish Fish. We have some Power Patch Kids. Um, got some straws. We've got a face mask. So sweet. Okay, let's read the little card here. Oh, it's from the artist Diamond Painting. Or, I mean, sorry, True Artist Diamond Painting on Etsy, y'all. Appreciate appreciation of Artist Matters. Oh, we got some cute um, stickers here. And put these to the side because those are stickers. And um, here's one that tells about one of the paintings. I'll share that. But it says, Thank you for purchasing a True Artist Diamond Painting. Committed to bringing you unique diamond painting kits that feature exclusive licensed art, ensuring that our artists are paid for their work. We hope that every drill you place, you find joy and fulfillment, along with the peace of mind. That you're also supporting the artists who are proud to share their work with you. True artist, Diamond Painting. Thank you so much. Cute little stickers. I love that they give cards and candies and snacks and straws and... I don't know what is supposed to be in here. I don't know. Okay. Let's get... This one was wrapped around this. So they have their... They have it wrapped around the diamond painting. That's really nice. So it goes around like this. Keeps it sturdy. Okay, let's look at this one. Let's move this one. Oh, am I dropping everything? Never get your life right. <laughs> okay, so they're really soft. Um, not like Diamond Art Club soft, but I would say like a reminds me of um, what's that company from Amazon? Um. Goodness. Uh, slip in my mind, guys. I don't remember. Oh my goodness. Um, it's one of my favorites off Amazon. Tin me, tin me arts. Reminds me of that. Okay, what do we do when it's cord glue? We roll it back on itself. So that's really awesome. I can't remember whose video I saw that that's why I went over to this person's Etsy. I really can't remember who I who I was watching, guys. But here are our drills. This is round. And you get a boat, a pen, and some two things of wax. That you get in their little kit. Ooh. Okay, so we'll look at the drills in a minute. Since I'm gonna show you two, I might not look at all the drills. I might just look at some colors. But let's see. I got this one, y'all. Isn't she pretty? Oh, is she kind of wonky to you guys? Hold on. 
I hope that's better. Oh, she's so pretty. I love her. Okay, so this is her, the key. She's got, um, it looks like a fairy or something to me right back here. And then her hair, she's got a lot of, um, flowers on it. And then she's got a lot of flowers right here. No, what is that behind her? That's not a fairy, Amber. That's just like a watercolor look, I think. But she's just gorgeous, y'all. I love her. And this is Flower Beauty Series by Le Letitia by Lamb Jasmine Bauman. Baum Bauman? Bauman? Waterproof, anti-fade, non-iron, and green. And then it's also um, scalloped edges. So you have a um, key on this side a legend key and then a legend and a key on this side also and then up here that'd be nice if it was a little bit bigger it says um true artist diamond painting but y'all this has a lot of glitter in it can y'all see that it is so glittery wow let me see if I can get this to lay down a little flatter for us. What I do with my little. So I guess these are just extra, extra things they give you. Maybe put extra drills in or something. Oops. Let me see. Something like that, right? Okay, I'm just trying to get this. Sorry, guys. I love her face. It's so beautiful. Really pretty colors. Really sticky. It just... I wish their plastic wasn't... It's, it's like, really staticky. And, um... I wish it was just a little bit thicker. That'd be nice. But, I can't... I'm not... I can't be too picky. Especially when finding a, a good place that offers um, licensed artwork, you know? Well, you can be picky, but I think this is amazing that we're having more companies that are offering um, licensed artwork. that didn't I didn't do a very good job there but it'll go flat you just leave it for a minute and it should go flat but it just it just bothers my soul I can't help it but it's very yeah it just wants to cling back on me and then it makes it kind of hard to lay the Lay it down flat. I'm trying to just get it to some of these little just to lay down flatter. Let me roll it again. Maybe that'll help. I think she's gorgeous. I love her. Okay, so where's her sticker? Okay, so she's a 40 by 53. Here's her sticker. Isn't she gonna be gorgeous? I thought that was a fairy. That's not a fairy. That's just like a. It looks like what? Like a, like watercolor. But isn't she gonna be gorgeous? Oh, I love. I love this artwork. There was a few that I was like, ooh, but I, I couldn't get too carried away, guys. I've been carried, carried away. Okay, so 
about the artist. In the midst of the pandemic and uncertain about her future, Lam picked up a paintbrush for the first time in 2020 and found her creative calling. Having dabbled as a novelist for many years, Lam discovered that her newfound medium could um, encompass all of the emotions, raw intent and expressions with Im imagery on canvas. The abstract realism in her paintings often feature surreal backgrounds and a um, con contemplative but strong female figure. Her paintings provide a glimpse into a world that draws from appreciation of dance, the human form, jewel-toned colors, and natural beauty. Lam is based in Arkansas and hopes to have a gallery exhibit exhibitions one day. She has won several awards in online art competitions. So you can look at the artist. There's her YouTube, her the Facebook, her Facebook and her website. That's cool that they they tell you more about the artist. I like that. I'm loving this guys. I love these bright colors. Let's look at some of the there's no ABs, I don't think. That's okay, I've got plenty of ABs that I can put in there. But, yeah, it doesn't look like any ABs, but you guys can see most of the colors without me taking them out. You can see the colors pretty well. Lots of pretty colors. All the colors in the rainbow. Let's just open it so we can look at some a couple baggies just to see um, like the facets and stuff. Let's look at this pretty purple, purpley blue. Oh no, that's 820. Lots of facets. I don't see any any garbage. You see, they're not staticky. But yeah, that looks like really good drills, guys. Quite a few facets, so they're gonna be really shiny. I'm really excited to do these kits. Okay, so let's look at, let's look at purple. It's really pretty. And then, let's look at this, um, like these, like, um, mauve colors. This is more of a mauve, it's kind of looking like a caramel, but it's more of a ma light mauve color. It's really pretty. This color is really pretty. This is like a wine color. But yeah, really pretty colors. Okay, I like that they're kit, they're kit up already. 40 by 53, let's measure that. I'm gonna show you both of these tonight. What did I do with my, what did I put my, hmm. Where did I put my tape measure? Oh no, is that what dropped? I hope not. Oh goodness, guys. Let me see, it's gotta be here. I just had it. Sorry. Just looking real quick. It's gotta be here, cause I, there we go. Let's see if it's true to size. Um, that is 40. And And 
and a few nicks shy at 53. So that is true to size. Just a few little nicks off. So true to size diamond paint, y'all. She's she's gorgeous. I love it. Yay! Okay. Let's put this one away. I wish it came with a with a um buh what am I trying to say? I wish it came with the um uh thingy ugh I can't get it out of my mouth uh the buh I'm sure it came with the inventory sheet. There we go, Amber. There you go. Use your words. Okay, so this... Sorry, guys. Like I said, it, it was take two, and I had these both open. Well, that one wasn't open. This one was open. Okay. So what are we doing? Pour glue. Go back on itself. And this is the same artist. I like their packaging. I'll have to wrap them all up in there. Ooh, this one has a bees. Okay. So that one has ABs. Where is the little sticker to that one? Oh no. You guys, I'm losing my whole life. Where's that sticker thing? Hmm. Can I put it up here? Trying to find something and I move stuff and then yeah. Well good. Oh, I found it. Okay. There's the drills. Okay. Let's look at her. Other side, flip it around. This one is a bit the bigger one. All you guys can't see it all. Oh, there we go. You still can't see it all, but you can see it a little better. Um, this is the sticker. Isn't she pretty? I mean zoom you into the sticker. Isn't she pretty? This is a 50 by 68. I love the watercolor looks and I love the flowers. So gorgeous. She's gonna be gorgeous, y'all. I'm so excited. So we got our schematic on that side, schematic on this side. So same thing. Isn't she pretty? All those flowers and the watercolor look. I love it. I love her work. And she's got the picture up there and it's Flower Beauty Series by Zoe by Lamb, Jasmine, um, Bowman, Bowman. And then up there is the True Artist Diamond Painting, and then the schematic on that side too. But let's zoom you in so you can see that I didn't do that with the last one so that you could see that how clear the drill field is. That is clear. You will not need a light pad or anything. 
And I don't see any that would trip me up. Yeah. There's an A, but there's no B. Yeah, I don't see any that would trip me up. And in the blues, you can distinctly see the different colors. Like you can see the D's and the T's and the Z's. You can see these symbols right in through here. These are different symbols. You can tell. Those are D's. My camera just makes it a little bit blurrier. But these are this nice. Love it. Such gorgeous colors. And it's got ABs, y'all. Okay. Let's flip her over. Let's look at these ABs so I can show you where they go on the canvas. Okay. You only got the two ABs. So these come differently. These are, um, these are in the the, um, these type of, I can show you all the colors because they're in those, they're not, I wonder why they're different, that's, that's weird, um, but I can show you all the colors, so, I got some brown, I don't need to read you the color, or would you guys rather see them like that? So you can look, see the green, got some more brown, we've got like a light yellow, we've got some mauve colors, some green, some pretty purples, I love the, that color, purple pink, got some more like Mauve, not mauve, but like a darker blush color. We've got a mustard, light mustard color. We've got some pretty blues. We've got A444. So AB444. So AB is Aurora, Bor sorry, AB is Aurora Borealis. And it has that iridescent coating on those to make them shine and be beautiful. We've got um, 666. Pretty coating on those. I'll definitely be putting more ABs in. We've got 158. Sorry. <laughs> That's some beautiful hot pink. That's our only bag at 310, y'all. That's cool. Blues. We've got some dark, like, burnt. Um, what is that type, type of color? Burnt orange-ish. Like a dark, like, I don't know. Gray. We've got 550. Royal purple. We've got a pretty pink. Pretty, another pretty pink. Some orange, some bright yellow. We've got these. These are some of my favorite colors. It's like a grayish purple color. It's so pretty. I love this light purple color. One of my favorites. We've got the um, purpley blue colors. Two of them. Well, these are different colors, but two bags of those. We've got some 820s. I really notice how beautiful 820 is. Got some more blues. So that is those colors for this canvas. And that's cool that they have ABs. And they're just a brand new company. That's awesome. Okay, let's bring you guys back out. was it that I was watching? Was it Rachel Ray, I want to say? Or, um, I 
it could have been Rhonda, maybe. I don't know. As I can't remember. Isn't she gorgeous? I love her. What do you guys think? I hope, I hope your skin tone's okay. What is number five? That's what I want to look at. Five is in here. If it's a weird color, you guys, I will replace it. Five is 355. Sorry, guys, I just really want to see that. I don't want it to be a weird color. Oh, it's this color. We'll have to see. I don't know about that. Cause that's all in her neck. A lot of her neck right here. I can see it being some kind of shade in some of the shading parts, but it's her whole neck almost. I might change that. I might change her skin tone right there. I might leave it for like, you know, for like a shading and stuff. That's okay to have that kind of color, but since doing neon, I don't know. Maybe I'll just see what it looks like, but that looks too reddish to me. Too orangey red, you know? for her skin color. I don't I don't like that too well. That might be something we're definitely gonna have to change. And I can go get diamond dots, that's not a problem. I might even have ne some of Neon's colors left over. But, yeah. Probably definitely gonna change. What is this other main color? This upside down, or why looking symbols 3828 hopefully it's this color yep okay that's a light cocoa brown like a light brown it looks weird on here guys it's not i promise that is a brown it's looking weird on my camera but Okay, but having that, having this color with, where's that color? Like that's a drastic change. Do you know what I mean? Like that's not, that's not, I don't know. You guys tell me. With neon, I shaded her skin tone with like four different colors. Um, I'm just not liking that for some reason. I didn't look on the other one. Yeah, I'm not liking that, guys. I remember um, I had a color kind of like this and I had to change it out with neon. But yeah, I'm not liking that color. You guys tell me what you think about this color on her skin, for her skin tone, with this one. That's the majority that I see right here. Like, that's the majority of her skin tone is number five, which is this, and then the, this, this color. I mean, she does have some spots where it's lighter, and some other different colors, like four. Fours in throughout here too. What's four? Thirty-three twenty-eight. Oh no! That's like a p. Oh, you guys. That's all wrong for her skin tone. No, no, no. This is like a p 
pink, like a light mauve color. Oh, hmm, okay. I'm not liking that. I'm gonna have to probably change her skin tone. Okay, because look at this beautiful, gorgeous picture of her. That's how I want her skin tone to be. Oh, it makes me want to look at the other one, too. Because see it? Look at her beautiful skin tone. They're beautiful women. Um, yeah, this... I'm not even sure about this color, to be honest. It kind of has, it's kind of given off a greenish color, but it's not. It's brown. It's like a very light, 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 light brown. But okay, guys. <laughs> For me, Mia, and Marshall, I hope you guys love these two. I love them. It's okay for me to change the um, skin tone. Um, tell me what you guys think. Do you think these 3328, this, okay, so it'll be these two, these colors with this color. Do I try and trust the process or do I trust my gut? Because if I'm trusting my gut right now, like this ain't it. Okay, thank you guys so, so much. I appreciate each and every one of you and, um... From, he really wants up here, guys. Let me... <laughs> Look at Marshall. He says, bye, guys. Huh. That's what you wanted? Now you're okay? Now you're good? You had to say hi to your fans? Yeah? <laughs> I don't know what he's got in his hair. My granddaughter pets him and she... Or feeds him, too. Oh, there's, there's his little snoot. There's a snout. Get a puppy snoot. <laughs> okay. Puppy paws. He loves the diamond paintings, guys. Okay. From me, Mia, and Marshall, we love you guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>